please welcome this week's special guest, Pam. <laughs> So, Victoria, what is Pam to you? This is Pam. She once returned my missing cat, only for my actual cat to turn up two days later. <laughs> right, Victoria's pet pal, Rod, how do you know Pam? This is Pam. I once had to say sorry to her for throwing my welly at her owls. <laughs> <laughs> Rod's owl owner. And finally, Lee, what is your relationship with Pam? This is Pam. She once walked into her hotel room to find me in her bath. <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, David's team, where to begin? So, uh, Victoria, so you had lost your cat. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. And what did the cat look like? Black. Just black all over? Correct. And how long had the cat been missing? Maybe two or three days. Right. And had you done anything about the cat being yeah. missing? Yeah. We'd put flyers up on bus stops, lampposts, news agents' window. Yeah. Name of the cat? Romeo. Romeo. And so... Did you put underneath where for art, though? <laughs> 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 no, but I should have done. Yeah. <laughs> Except, of course, that means, why are you? Yes, Not good where. point, David. <laughs> I, I, I realise he didn't realise that. No. Yeah, I love working with you, David. Yeah. Such fun. <laughs> <laughs> If it's any consolation, Lee, and I know it will be, I welled up with self-loathing even as I said it. <laughs> but I couldn't not say it. Well, so, that's, that's know, fair enough. I, I, this is one of the many things I'm dealing with. OK. Well, can you hurry up and get it sorted out? <laughs> <laughs> that's what my therapist says at every session. <laughs> so soon after the, the, as it were, the flyering campaign, Pam turned up. Yep. And did you know Pam before? Vaguely. <laughs> How did you know her? Because she's the landlady of my local pub. Right. At which uh, and she says vaguely. You mean very well, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> so when she brought the fake Romeo back, did you know it wasn't your cat? No. I thought it was Romeo. We were completely happy to have him back he you know he looked a bit thinner um <laughs> a bit more black and whitey <laughs> <laughs> a bit more doggy <laughs> so then when the real romeo came back so so there was meowing at the back door two two days ish after that and uh opened the back door and there was romeo so then i thought oh my god i've got to go back to pam yeah um, to say, whose is this cat? Cos he's not mine. Yeah. So we decided that we should take it to the Battersea Cats and Dogs home, which we did. Do people go to Battersea Cats home and go, we've lost our cat? Yeah, you, you ring up. It's not a good sister. You ring up, you go, my cat's gone missing. What does it look like? It's black. <laughs> I'll go and have a look. Yeah, yeah, we found it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know if the original owner was ever reunited with fake Romeo? I do, because I rang about seven days later to find out what had happened, and yeah. fake Romeo had been reunited with his owner. Oh, oh. That's the end to the story. Yeah. Was yeah. Pam the real owner, was it? That, like, the twist no. in the story? <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to quiz next? Uh, Rod. Just remind us, Rod, of your statement, please. This is Pam, and I once had to say sorry to her for throwing my welly at her owls. Rod! Yeah. Were you sharing your welly with your friend? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. I was in a way, because I say my welly, it was my welly for the duration of the welly throwing. Yeah. Nice. Why was Pam's owl attending the welly throwing contest? <laughs> the welly throwing contest... Yes. ..was at a, like, a... a, a a little fete, a festival, a little... It was at a, a, a wedding. It was a wedding. <laughs> and the wedding people decided to have, like, a fete, a festival, a little carnival to entertain yeah. people in the day before uh, the wedding. Yeah, but why is that part of the festival, just a woman was standing with owls? <laughs> I mean, it's a good question. Pamela Owls were at the wedding. Are you saying Pamela Owls or Pam and her owls? <laughs> There's Pam 
and her owls. Yes. There's welly throwing, there's food stalls, there's coconut shies, there's other things going on. OK, so it's at the Pam and her owls section. What, what's the activity? Just, just a good okay. old look at an owl. <laughs> there's a little gazebo and then there's owls yeah. on, like, podiums. Mm that you can go up and read about and you can ask Pam about her owl. <laughs> so these aren't models of owls, these are live owls. Oh, they're live owls. Did you say, are they live owls? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the idea of someone coming along <laughs> with owls sounds very dull. Yeah. Yeah. But for Pam <laughs> and her owls, and they're just little cement owls, <laughs> <laughs> would be... Right, thanks, Pam. I'm just going to go to the food store. <laughs> Pam's got a show with her dead Do owls. Do you mean Pam and her dead <laughs> owls to the right? Do the owls do anything? Or do they just sit there? They <laughs> just... <laughs> they just sit there. Do they sit there and they observe there. the people but reading they are. them? Pam assured me oh, they were alive. But if they were in the gazebo, yeah. when you threw the welly, how, how did it hit the owl? I'll, I'll, I'll show you what happened. Yes, please do. Yeah. Right. There's two, there's two techniques of welly throwing. You've got the basic swing, like that. Mm. Or, you'll know this, Rob, you've got the hammer. Of course, yes. Right? I swung like that, left go a little bit too late. Oh. On an angle, here's Pam and her owls, two owls on <laughs> plinths. Yeah. I leave go of the welly, it goes straight into their gazebo. This is how I knew they were alive. It went straight through the middle of them, and the two of them went like that. Right. <laughs> so the owls weren't hit or hurt? Thankfully. But they might have cricked their necks. Because I don't think Pam would be standing <laughs> like that if I'd killed them. All right, now then, what about Lee? Just remind us. Uh, this is Pam. She once uh, walked into a hotel room to find me in her bath. <laughs> so why were you in her bath? Because I was in the wrong room. How did you end up in the wrong room? I ended up in the wrong room because I locked myself out. So when... you thought you'd just pick anyone? No, I went down to reception and yeah. told them this. I yeah. said, I'm in... I've locked myself out. And they said, oh, so, what...? So just go in Pam's room. <laughs> They, they said, don't worry, she's, uh, she's at a wedding with her owls, you'll be all right for an hour. <laughs> uh, they said, um, what room are you in? Gave them the room number. Didn't realise I'd got the room number wrong. Ah. Oh. Yeah, but yeah. you've gone in the room. Correct. Having you noticed that, that your suitcase is not there... And no, you because could, I'd... Uh, and the... you just went straight in the bathroom like a nutter. No. You just went <laughs> straight... <laughs> I, had, I had checked into the hotel a few hours earlier, I was very late for a show I was doing. I put my suitcase just next to the bed and ran straight to the show. You go in the room. Yeah. You go immediately into the bathroom. You haven't gone into the main bit of the room Correct. in a way which would be, there's no doubt, more normal. Have you ever needed the toilet desperately? Yeah, but you, did, you, you went to the bath, not the toilet. <laughs> hey, I'm from up north. I can double up. Yes. <laughs> so you're naked. You're in the bath. Yeah. Pam Watson. Yeah. What happened? I got my headphones on. I'm chilling out to a bit of whatever. And then I think I hear a click, if I'm going to be honest, at the time. I'm thinking... And it's Pam cocking a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Pam. <laughs> but anyway, I'm lying there. And she, she comes in. Right. This must have been a very upsetting moment well, for I... both of you, but particularly for her. No, How I particularly for me. Particularly for me. No, sir, not for you. No. For you, the company was a plus. No. For her. No, 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 no. no. How no. did no, she no, react? No, 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 no. I, as far as I'm concerned, I'm in my own bath. Who's going to be the most upset at that point? Were you exposed in the bath? Oh, no, no, I put bubble bath in, because even I can't stand the sight of it. <laughs> 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 so what happened then? She stepped out. At this point, she's on the phone now see, to, to reception, saying, uh, there's a man in my bath. So well, I went round the corner to have it out with Pam. I see female clothes strewn everywhere, and I don't like being in the wrong, so I just went, well, somebody's very untidy. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I left. She wasn't happy until I turned at the last moment. I said, just as the door was closing, I just put my foot in that and wedged it. I went, would you like to come on? Would I lie to you? <laughs> Right, we need an answer. So, David's team, is Pam Victoria's pet pal, Rod's owl <laughs> owner, or Lee's bemused bather? I think Victoria, because Pam looks like a pub owner. She looks <laughs> like she could handle a tap. 
Yeah. Oh. She could that night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think it's I think it's Victoria. Also, I don't believe a single word Lee or Rod <laughs> says. Yeah, so that would be a good reason to go for Victoria. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't believe the bit about me even having a bath? No. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I'm going Victoria. You still think Victoria? I do. I'm very worried about this. I think it might be Rod, but we're going to go for Victoria. You're going to say it's Victoria? Yeah. OK. Pam, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Pam, and Rod threw a Wellington boot at my <laughs> house. Yes, Pam is Rod's owl owner. Thank you very much, Pam.